What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a chess shop for our Minecraft server. We're switching over from these old school signs, which we're, I don't know, just not a big fan of, to something sort of similar, but a little different. Now, the way the chess shop works, obviously, you've got to have a chest, and you've got to have a sign, and then whatever the hell you're wanting to sell. So what you do is you drop the chest first, you go ahead and put the items that you're wanting to sell inside the chest, then you drop the sign. Now it's important that you leave the top line blank. The plugin is going to fill that in for you. Now on the second line, this is how many of the actual unit you want to sell. So if you want to sell five, you want to sell 10, it doesn't matter. You know, that's the number that you want to put here. So we're going to be selling 10 bread. Now down here, this is the part where you decide whether you want to buy, whether you want to sell, or whether you want to do both. Now, doing both kind of defeats the purpose because not everybody's going to want to sell what you're buying. But uh, if you're wanting to sell to other people, and it's a little bass accurate, you want to use a B. Uh, if you're wanting to buy from other people, you want to use S. So since we are wanting to sell to people, we're going to use B. And we want to charge people $1 for every 10 pieces of bread that they get. Now down here, this is the final line. Uh, on this line, you need to either place the item ID or the name. Now the way it works, some items aren't really going to be very friendly with the item names because the names may not match up to what you think they are. So it's always good to use the item ID, but uh, most situations the name's going to work. So we're going to use bread this time because I don't know the item ID off of bread right off my hands. So we're going to use that, you click that, and boom, a shop has been made. This now makes your shop protected so this chest can't be looted, the sign can't be broken, and the chest can't be broken. Now, anytime somebody comes in here and clicks on this sign, you are going to get paid. And if you'll notice, we were testing it. Oh my god, somebody may have typed. Right here. Shop Wayne bought 10 bread for you for a dollar. Now the nice thing about this is, unlike the other mod, as soon as somebody comes and right clicks on the sign, you are going to get paid and you don't have to come to the sign and do it yourself. So that's that's another nice thing. Another nice thing about it is you can actually see in a slightly more easy to manage method how much stuff is actually in the sign and you know you can restock it if you like. You can also take things out. Like let's say I want to take this bread out, boom, sign still works. Now for whatever reason, let's say you've got an item that is kind of being a pain in the ass. You can't um, for whatever reason get the the name to work etc etc well, with this you want to have the item in your hand and you want to type item info and this is going to give you the item id which in this case is 297 so instead of typing bread on the bottom line you would type in 297 and that makes it very easy and this makes restocking easy you don't have to always come to your house all the time um you know just it makes selling a lot easier and i believe there will be less issues for everybody with this method so hope you guys enjoy using these signs. Please let me know if you have any bugs with them so that I can try and get them fixed. Let me know and uh, we'll get them taken care of. As always, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.